so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Mika! Hey, it's me, Mika. And today, I'm at the Intrepid Museum in New York City. Check it out. The Intrepid is so big. It's an aircraft carrier that can have airplanes land on it. That's how big it is. <laughs> Let's go inside and explore. Come on. Check it out! We're at the Concorde! This is one of the very first supersonic airplanes. Do you know what that means? That means that this plane goes faster than the speed of sound! We get to go inside and check it out. Come on! I got you. There you go. You can get it after. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> oh, you wanna... Oh, yeah. Of course. Yes! Oh, can you just... Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, hi. <laughs> I'm Mika, your flight attendant on Supersonic Airlines. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just Mika. I'm just playing. <laughs> this plane is so cool. Check out the seats. Ooh. Can rest your arm and just relax on your flight. <laughs> Did you know that this plane holds the world record for fastest flight from New York to London? It got to London in under three hours. That's really, 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 really fast. <laughs> hey, wanna go check out the cockpit? Let's go. Hi, I'm First Officer Mika. <laughs> A first officer assists the pilot. But there's no pilot. Hmm, let's see. Let me just give a little call here. Hello? Hi, yes, it's First Officer Mika. And we don't have a pilot. Mm-hmm. No, I'm looking right now. There's no pilot. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> oh, this is so cool to be in the cockpit. There's so many different buttons and controls. And this is the steering wheel. It controls the wings of the airplane. <sighs> Whoa, look at all of these circles. See? There's a lot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, this, it says visor nose. This controls the nose of the airplane. It can either go down or it can go up. You have to know a lot to fly a plane. What else? Oh, see the wheel button? The wheels, make sure you go in for a nice smooth landing. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Whoa, what else is in here? Whoa. All these little numbers look like something you'd see on a telephone. Ooh, and this is the throttle. This is how you can go fast or slow. So you wanna go so fast, you wanna go so slow. <laughs> hmm. Wow. I wonder how long it takes to learn what all of these buttons and controls do. Ooh, ooh. Can we just get ready here? Are you ready to fly with me? Awesome, let's count down together. Three, two, one, fly! Woo, let's go even faster. Woo-hoo! Here we are on the flight deck. This place is amazing. We're up high, we can see a lot of the New York City skyline. And look at these amazing planes. This is where planes would take off and where they would land. But it's actually not long enough so they would use a device to catapult planes into the sky. Isn't that so cool? <laughs> Whoa, look at that plane. Oh, I see a helicopter. Oh, they're just hanging out on the flight deck. That's where the planes hang. And they have these beautiful views. <laughs> what? There's someone on one of the planes? <gasps> You're right. Hi. Hi. Let's go get a closer look. Hi, come on up. Thank you. Whoa. Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, Mika. I'm Jen. Hi, Jen. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So what do you do here? So I am a museum educator, which means that I teach all kinds of people, students, children, adults coming into the museum. Awesome. So you must know a lot about planes. I do. Well, if I'm in the front here, does that mean that I'm the pilot? 
You are a pilot, but you are still learning how to be a pilot. So you're technically a student driver. Oh, okay. So then would you be the pilot or the instructor? I would be the instructor. So I would be back here and I could take control of the plane if I needed to. Oh, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I really like the look of this plane. I love the colors. I can see red and white and blue. Absolutely, the red, white, and blue let other planes know that this is an American airplane. And also the red and white, they're high visibility. So it lets people know that you're still learning how to be a pilot. Oh, that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. Well, it's so cool that I get to be inside of this airplane. Yeah. <laughs> would you like to go inside of a helicopter? Yes, I would. All right, uh, let's go. Okay, let's go. Wow. This is amazing. Yeah. So this is our Sea Guardian helicopter. It was used by the Coast Guard to help rescue people out in the ocean. Wow, that's super important. Absolutely. And you'll notice here we have pontoons, one pontoons. here and one on the other side. And then the shape of the front of the helicopter matches that of a boat so yeah. that it can land directly on the water. Whoa, this helicopter can land on water? Absolutely, That's it can. really cool. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. You're also gonna notice that we've got colors. We've got red and white, similar to the Mentor that we were just in. Yeah, I was just gonna say, we were just in a red and white plane. Yeah, so same colors, both so that they can be high visibility so people notice them, but fit different reasons. The mentor over there is high visibility, so people stay away from you because you're right. learning, new, new learning flyer. to drive. Uh -huh. And this one is high visibility, so that people know to flag you down so that you can help them. Oh, that makes Absolutely. sense. Absolutely. Wow, what a helpful and useful helicopter. Yeah. In fact, the way it helps people, you'll notice the hook right up here. There's a basket inside. We could connect to that hook to lower down into the water. Wow, yeah, let's go see what the basket looks Absolutely. like. Absolutely, come on in. Okay. Wow, look, it looks like a giant basket you would use to get groceries. Yeah, you need it to fit people in there, so it needs to be a big basket. Yeah, it is mm -hmm. really big. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is so cool. Thanks for showing me. Yeah, you can see the hole right here that would connect to the hook. Oh, yeah. And we even have some floats on either side of the basket to help it float when it drops down into the water. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Well, before you let me pretend to fly the airplane, did I pretend to fly this helicopter? Absolutely, let's go. <gasps> yes, let's do it. Check out the cockpit in this helicopter. Yeah, all kinds of different controls in here. Yeah, there's a lot going on. I see a lot of circles and buttons and knobs. Absolutely, but the three things that you're gonna use to really steer this, mm -hmm. you have your pedals yeah. down on the floor, okay. just like you would in a car. You have your joystick right here oh, that's going to... You have one too. I have one too. All right. And then you have this control right here, which lifts up and down to help lift the helicopter up and down. Whoa, so you use your feet on the pedals. Mm -hmm. You hold on to this. What did you call it? Joystick. Joystick. And you have this controller too? Absolutely. You're that's doing a lot. lot. <laughs> that seems like a really hard job. It is. It's really complicated. Wow. <laughs> yep. And then when you want to land, we have landing gear, just like we would on a plane. So that control is oh. right here. Yeah, I'm gonna flip it. it up. Now, you're not always going to have the landing gear down for this one because remember it lands on the water. So oh, we're not right. gonna use our wheels when we're landing on the water. Oh, so we don't even need that? Not all not the time. Not if we're landing not on water. Not if we're landing on water, absolutely. Oh, cool. And then yeah. I've seen this before in a car, parking brake. Yep, so that does help when you're on land to just make sure it doesn't go rolling away anywhere. Wow, very smart. Absolutely. Oh, I feel like an official helicopter flyer. <laughs> you're doing great. <laughs> hey, well, we'll see you soon. Jen and I have a big landing coming up. Are you ready? Yeah, let's, let's land do this. this thing. Yes. Woo! Oh, cool. This looks like a map of the Intrepid. Yeah, you can see the entire length of the ship. It is as long as three football fields lined up end to end. Whoa, that is really, really long. We did some serious walking today. Definitely, a lot of exercise, a lot of steps. Wow, well, I'm gonna keep exploring, but it was so nice meeting you, Jen, and thank you for showing me all of this. Absolutely, it was nice showing you around and have fun. Oh, thanks. See ya. Bye. Let's go. Hey, look behind me. It's the Intrepid. <laughs> well, it's a model of the Intrepid made out of Legos. Isn't that cool? Let's get a closer look. Whoa, this is amazing. There's so much to look at. Oh, I see people, workers and helpers. You know, 
You can know what kind of job someone has based off of the color of their uniform. So, oh, like right here, brown. And see, this person's wearing brown too. They are pilots. And, oh, this friend right here in green. <laughs> and there's another one. If you're wearing green, you help direct the planes. You help with takeoff and landing. Wow. Oh, look at these two. These are two officers. Hello, officer. Hello, officer. Good to see you. <laughs> Old friends. <laughs> Let's keep looking. Oh, hello. <laughs> these two people are wearing purple. One of my favorite colors. They have really cool jobs. They refuel the planes or they juice up the planes. And because they wear purple and they juice up the planes, they have really cool nicknames. They call them the grapes. <laughs> this is amazing. I wonder what else is here. Let's go find out. Oh, this looks like a comfy, cozy spot. There's three bunks. Do you know who would sleep here? The sailors. Oh, let's try it out. Ah. Whoa. Can you imagine if you're on a bunk bed for three people? You have a friend here, you have a friend down there. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> That'd be such a fun sleepover. Ah. Oh, I bet there's more to go see. Come on. Let's go that way. <laughs> oh, this is the part of the ship for different ways to communicate to other people in ships. Like, here's the other end of the voice tube. Hello! <laughs> oh, and over here, it says Morse code. Let's see, type your name in Morse code. <coughs> yeah, did you hear that? It's a way to communicate with other people that are super far away. So, hmm, I'll spell my name. If it's a long line like that, you hold it down. And if it's a dot, like that, it's Okay, so Mika, M, E, E, K, A, H. Mika, if anyone is wondering. <laughs> oh, and this Big light is another way to communicate with people on ships super far away. Let's see. Whoa, that's a really bright light. You could probably even see it through a really foggy night. Hello! Check out these red paddles. One, two. They're kind of like ping pong paddles. Well, they're super cool and helpful because it's another way to communicate needed to be able to land safely. So they relied on signal landing officers like me. Let's see, uh, let's try this one. It says, wave off, do not land. Do not land. <laughs> or this one that means, too high, you're too high. Or too low, you're too low, buddy. Mm-hmm, <laughs> that's so cool. Oh, here's another way to communicate with signal flags. Let's see. Uh, I want to tell that ship over there, the pizza has been delivered. My work here is done. Oh, huh, something cool over here. Looks like a person wearing a green shirt. Hey, we saw something like this on the model of the Intrepid. Do you remember? If someone's wearing a green shirt, they help the planes take off and land. You're doing a great job. Smooth landing. <laughs> cool. Oh, there's another one over here. Do you know what color shirt this is? It's white. Yep, this is a landing signal officer. Hey, that's like the one I just did with the red paddles. That was a landing signal officer. Hello, I'm a landing signal officer. I, I don't think they sang, but. Oh, this one is wearing a blue shirt. If you're wearing a blue shirt, you're a plane handler and you move the aircraft around the flight deck. Hi! 
What kind of job would you want to have? They had so many different jobs on the Intrepid. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> what a fun day at the museum! I can't believe that we got to go inside of the Concorde and an airplane and a helicopter. Oh, and do you know what this is? This is the Lockheed A-12. It goes super fast, three times the speed of sound. <laughs> well, I hope you had fun learning with me today. This is the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. All right, see you soon. Hey, it's me, Mika. And today, I'm at the El Sereno Community Garden in Los Angeles, California. Here, people come together from the community to practice gardening together. Oh, I bought some food scraps from home to compost. Have you ever composted before? <laughs> That's sort of like when you recycle to protect our earth. Mm -hmm. And the best part, we get to go digging in the dirt. Ready? Come on, let's go. Whoa. Look at these colorful signs. Oh, they're greetings in different languages, welcoming us to the garden. Aw, oh, thank you, signs. It's a pleasure to be here. Wow, check out all these plants. <laughs> there are too many to even count. And look, they're all in the dirt. That's where they get their nutrients, from the soil. Do you know what other nutrients plants need to grow? <gasps> That's right, sunlight and <sighs> fresh air and lots of water. You can water them yourself or sometimes when it rains, they get plenty of water so you don't have to. <gasps> oh, plants need lots of space to grow too. <gasps> oh, this garden looks very spacious, which means there's plenty of space for plants to grow. <laughs> okay, friends, let's keep exploring. Hey, I'm Mika, nice to meet ya. Hi, Mika, I'm Erica. Welcome to the El Sereno Community Garden in Otsunga, the place of the roses. Nice. In the Tangba language, can you say Otsunga? Otsunga. Nice. <laughs> uh, are you here to compost? Yes, I am. Perfect. I have my eggshells and my avocado and my banana peels. Excellent. <laughs> uh, let me show you Great. Uh, what to do. And on the LA compost method of uh, composting, there's three boxes. You uh -huh. add. Uh, your food scraps here, and then you put a layer of browns, uh, which is dry leaves or mulch, mm -hmm. on top of your kitchen scraps, okay. which are your greens, mm -hmm. even though the banana's not green. <laughs> but, no, those but, are yellow. <laughs> <laughs> and so you put greens and browns, greens and browns, and you make sure the brown layer stays on top. Mm -hmm. And then once it gets filled, you move it to the next one, and then you shift it and add water, and then you move it to the next one, and then you shift it, and you add, add water. water. <laughs> and then at the end, it looks like this. Whoa, check it out. So the compost pile, when it's ready to sift, mm -hmm. you look, if you look inside, there's bugs and worms and oh. roly polies. Oh, yes. And everywhere. What do the bugs do? They decompose the soil, the matter, the brown matter, oh. and make it into fertile soil. Mm, decomposing means you break something down. So once it's finished breaking down, uh -huh. we take a handful and we bring it to the sifter. And then the, the sifter, you take out the big brown things that don't fill through the holes. Mm -hmm. And then you keep the worms. If you find any worms, uh -huh. you uh, put them back. Oh, put them back. Hello, Because worms. they're our friends. <laughs> and then we put them back in the soil so they can continue making soil. And uh, the one that's sifted that goes through is ready to plant to plant new plants. Oh, awesome. I'm going to go plant on the other side of the garden. You want to join me later when you're finished composting? Sure. I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> OK, let's get started. OK, here I go. Our earth is 
she's a wonderful host. I love to help her through compost. We'll compost this and we'll compost that with some food and plant scraps. Whoa, awesome. Okay, let's head over to this big pile of dirt. Scoop up some dirt and maybe some worms too. Okay, three, two, one, sift off. Sift, sift, sift. Oh, check out these worms. Did you know earthworms have taste buds all over their bodies? <laughs> okay. Wow. Let's go find Erica to see if she needs help planting. I've got it. Let's wiggle over like a worm. Ready, worms? Here we go. Wiggle, wiggle, squish, squish. Hi, Mika. <laughs> what are you planting? I'm planting some hummingbird sage, some narrow leaf, leaf milkweed, and some lettuce. Oh, I'd like to help. Yes. Did you bring the compost? Oh, yes. It's right here. Perfect. You're going to need it. <laughs> so you make a hole, but the size of the roots and the size of your fist, you take the plant out of the pot and be careful with the roots. Look at that. Oh, look at all those roots. And you plant them nice and gentle in the hole, and then you give a nice warm hug with the compost. There we go, little plant. These are for the pollinators. <gasps> oh, I know what that is. That's when certain animals fly from plant to plant. The pollen gets on their body, then they fly to the other plant, and it helps the plants grow. Do you know what kind of animals are pollinators? That's right. Buzz, buzz, buzz. <laughs> Bees and hummingbirds and butterflies and bats too. That's right. And you want to know what else is a pollinator? I'll give you a hint. They're red and black. Can you guess what a pollinator is? Ladybug? That's right. Look, there's one right here. Oh, look at that ladybug. <laughs> so sweet. <laughs> Did you know ladybugs are male as well? Mm -hmm. Despite the name, they're male and female. In you go. Thank you. How about here? Now that I'm done planting, I'd like to try something else. Oh, can we harvest? Yes, you can. You can harvest whatever is ready and ripe. Ready and ripe, got it. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh, I have a plan. Let's gather up some fruits and vegetables for a salad. Oh, these would be great. Check it out. These are Filipino limes. They're ready when they're yellow instead of green. <laughs> Okay, lime, let's go. Here we go. We have two limes. <laughs> Ooh, flowers. Wow, look at this tree. Wonder what it is. Oh, I know. It's guava. <laughs> you can tell a fruit is ripe if it falls to the ground. That means we're ready. <laughs> Get some guava for our salad. Mmm, that smells good. Okay, let's find some more food for our salad. Yum! Cocoa plum. Let's pick one for our salad. <laughs> Look, it's so little. And it's one of my favorite colors. Purple. <laughs> Check it out over here. I see another fruit. <laughs> Can you guess what it is? That's right. It's a watermelon. Wow, I've never seen one this small before. This will be delicious in my salad. Ooh, an orange tree. But these oranges aren't quite ready. You know how I know? <laughs> yeah, they're still green. Not ripe yet. Okay, oranges, I'll see you later when you're ready. 
Look! <laughs> a really big cactus! This can go into a salad, but no thank you, cacti. I think I'll move on. Yummy! Strawberries! Should we put strawberries in our salad? <laughs> yeah! One strawberry, two strawberries. Hmm. Oh, check it out. Kale. I would like some of this for my salad, too. <laughs> I know. Let's make a salad for Erica to thank her for showing us this lovely garden. Here we go. Hello, Erica. Hi, Mika. We made you a delicious salad. Yummy, what's in it? We have watermelon and guava and strawberry and kale. Yummy, I'm gonna <laughs> have it for lunch. <laughs> Mika, can you help me with one more thing? Yes, I'm happy to help. I need to spread seeds out uh, so we can uh, harvest some flowers. This is Arroyo Lupin. It's beautiful purple bloom. Mm. Oh, that's one of my favorite colors. Now, when we spread the seeds, we have to sing to them, twinkle, twinkle, little star, because we believe the seeds are the stars of the earth. Oh. Can you help me? Yes. Perfect, roll out your hand. I'm gonna give you some seeds. Thank you. And we'll get seeds and we'll start singing and wishing them love. You ready? Yes. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Whoa, that was Thank so fun. You, Mika. Thank you. Yes, you're Come so back welcome. anytime. Okay, bye bye. 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 That was awesome. We did a great job composting with those worms, planting in a garden, and harvesting some yummy fruit and vegetables for a salad. What a great, beautiful day. I hope you had fun too. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> okay, friend, see you later. Bye-bye! Hey, it's me, Mika! And today I'm at the Children's Creativity Museum in San Francisco, California. Do you know what creativity is? It's when you use your imagination to make anything! <laughs> One, two, three, four. Mission control. I'm ready to explore! Whoa, smooth landing. <laughs> Did you see? I was a rocket ship. <laughs> hey, look at these cool blocks. They're so colorful. Oh, and they feel soft. <laughs> Do you know what shape this is? This is a rectangle. See, there's two short sides and two long sides. Yeah, do you know what color it is? Green, that's right. And look at all the little circles. Ah, these are really cool. Ooh, one of my favorite colors. Yellow. Hey, what if we built a rocket ship out of these blocks? All right, let's do it. Maybe this one and this one. Mm-hmm. And we need some wings. Which block would make a good wing? <gasps> this one. And maybe this one. Hmm. Maybe some yellow on the top. Yellow, it's nice and bright. This way, space knows we're coming. <laughs> and then maybe this. Whoa. Yes, it's time to launch this rocket ship into space. Count down with me from 10. Ready? 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! <gasps> We've landed in space. There's no gravity. This is why I'm walking like this. I'm floating because I'm 
astronaut Mika. Whoa. One small step for inspiration. One giant leap for creativity. <laughs> Whoa. Look at all these moon rocks. We have to hop over them. Will you hop with me? Okay. Nice hopping. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. There's more to create. Let's go! Creativity installed. Whoa! It says launch it. You must be able to launch things here. Huh. <gasps> this is a vertical wind tunnel. Yeah, this wind down here forces things to go up through the tunnel. This is a great way to test gravity. Do you know what gravity is? It's the force that pulls everything on Earth to the ground. It's also what keeps the planets orbiting the sun. Without gravity, they would just be floating around in space like, like this. Whoa! Whoa! Where's gravity? <laughs> hey, looks like there's some items here that we could test to see which ones will float up through the tunnel. It's time for sink or fly! Let's see. Hmm. Oh, look! There's some leaves and flowers. They look really light. Do you think that they'll float up through the tunnel? Only one way to find out. Ready? Three, two, one. Three, two, one. It went all the way up out of the tunnel and here it comes. Ooh, ooh. I caught it. I'm gonna see if it'll go up again. Okay. Ready? Goodbye, little leaf. Whoa! That's so cool. What else is in here? Oh! Look at this squishy ball. <laughs> I wonder if this will float up the tunnel. What do you think? It's a little heavier than the leaf. All right, let's try. Three, two, one. Nope. <laughs> I think it's too heavy. Oh, look, there's some cotton balls here. See, they're green and soft. They also feel pretty light. Should we try? Maybe we can try both of them at the same time. <laughs> Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa. It didn't fly up, but did you see it twirling around? Let's try again. Whoa, nope. <laughs> All right. <gasps> hey, this kind of looks like my bow. Twins. <laughs> this is pretty light too. Do you think it's gonna go up the tunnel? Let's try. Oh, just went up a little bit. Let's try it again. Whoa, that was so cool. What about this? Ooh, this is so pretty. This piece of fabric, yeah. It looks light and floaty. Let's see what happens. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna let go, ready? Three, two, one. <gasps> Can I catch it? Got it, that was a fun one. I wanna do it again. Whoa. Three, two, one. Blast off! Wow, so it seems like the items that are really light go straight up out of the tunnel. And then the items that are kind of heavy stay towards the bottom or they don't float at all. What about this streamer? You might see this at a birthday party as a decoration, but have you seen a streamer in a vertical wind tunnel? Woo! Ready, set, go! Whoa! Can I catch it? Can I catch it? Got it. <laughs> Gravity is so awesome. Should we pretend to walk like there's no gravity? 
Okay, let's go. Whoa. 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 There's no gravity. <laughs> huh. I wonder what's going on with this wall. I see some tubes and pipes and this looks like a track and oh look there's a magnet on the side and it sticks to the wall because it's magnetic cool i have a great idea let's make a comet run do you know what a comet is it's made of frozen space dust and rock and ice and the closer it is to the sun, the faster it travels because of gravity. So we could say that this ball is the sun. Ooh, it's so hot, it's hot. Okay, sun, you stay there. And now I need to make a comet run. So I'm gonna move some of these pieces so that the ball can travel towards the sun. So let's see, let me move this down like this. What do you think? All right, now, which ball should be the comet? <gasps> what about this one? One of my favorite colors, purple. Okay, do you wanna be the comet? Great. Okay, you got this. You have to travel so fast towards the sun. You ready? All right, three, two, one. Go! Whoa! That was amazing! Did you see how fast it traveled? Let's try another one. Maybe this yellow one. One of my other favorite colors. <laughs> okay. Focus on the sun and travel as fast as you can. You got this. Three, two, one, go! Whoa! Oh, that one fell off. Maybe we should try the purple one again. All right. There's the sun. Travel so, so fast. Three, two, one, go! Yeah! That was amazing! This calls for a 10 second dance party. Dance it out with me. Let's go explore some more. Whoa! They even have a space up on the rooftop outside where you can be creative. Look at all of this art. <laughs> Whoa, these are doors. Hello? <laughs> they painted them. Oh, look, a little green squiggly line and someone painted a heart. Oh, cool. Whoa! This structure kind of reminds me of a rocket ship. Three, two, one, blast off! Hey, they have a smock. That means that I could paint something. Yeah, it's good to wear a smock, then you can protect your clothes from the paint. <laughs> I'm feeling so inspired. What should I paint? Maybe something in space? I will paint. Maybe you can guess. Do you know what planet we live on? Yeah, Earth. So I'm going to use, you know this color? Blue, yeah, blue, like the sky, the ocean. Whoa, I'll make a big circle for our planet Earth. Around and around and around. So there's so much water on Earth and there's a lot of land. So maybe I'll use green too. <gasps> yes, here's green right here. See green like trees or like a delicious avocado. <laughs> we'll put some green on here too. Oh, okay, there's Earth. And then I think I'm gonna paint some white stars too. Hey, 
Did you know that there's over 100 billion stars in our galaxy? And that our galaxy is called the Milky Way. <laughs> we'll just do some stars like this all over. What do you think? I like it a lot. <laughs> wow, well, I'll let that dry for now. <laughs> I had so much fun playing and learning with you today. We got so inspired and we used our creativity and our imagination. Remember when we learned about comets and how they're made of frozen space dust? I think that's so neat. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. All right, I'll see you later. Bye. <gasps> hey, it's me, Mika. And today, I'm at the Columbia Memorial Space Center in Downey, California. Can you guess what this is? It's a real capsule. Mm-hmm, and today, we're going to be astronauts and create a capsule of our own. Are you ready? Okay, blast off! I'm so excited to be in a shuttle today and be an astronaut. Do you know what an astronaut is? An astronaut is a person that goes up into outer space to study the moon and stars and planets too. I got it. Would you like to be an astronaut with me? <laughs> Great. All right, let me dial Mission Control. Mission Control, it's Commander Meeker here. Mm-hmm, my astronaut buddies and I are ready for takeoff. <gasps> All right, counting down in three, two, one. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> wow! <laughs> I can see so many stars and planets. I can see Mercury, and Venus, and Earth, and Mars, and Jupiter, Uranus, Saturn, and Neptune. <laughs> wow. <gasps> Did you know the sun is a star? <laughs> I know, so cool. Okay, let's go park and explore. <laughs> wow, check it out. It's a real spacesuit, just like astronauts wear when they go on moonwalks in space. <laughs> it's white with red accents. Oh, and the material is really, really tough to protect astronauts when they're in space. And look at this helmet. This is so astronauts can breathe oxygen out in space. I want to get inside. Come on. Hi, I'm an astronaut. <laughs> wow. Oh, an asteroid. <laughs> I can see so many stars and planets up here. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. I have a flight suit of my own. <laughs> I'm astronaut Mika and I'm ready to explore space. Are you ready? <gasps> vroom, 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 zoom, 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 let's go! <gasps> this is a robotics lab. This is where scientists called engineers code a rover. A rover is a big truck that moves along a planet's surface and takes pictures of rocks and dirt. And the cool thing is it's controlled by a scientist on Earth. That way, they can learn about what a planet is like. Come on, let's go code a rover. Coding the rover means I'm planning out how it'll move on the planet. <laughs> okay, I'm setting up this rover to take lots of pictures of Mars and pick up a rock. Okay, now that it's set, let's place it on the table. <gasps> Whoa, this rover reminds me of an excavator. 
It picks up rocks instead of dirt, though. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, let's hope the rover picks up this rock. Here we go. Oh, not quite. Let's try again. Here we go. Ready? <laughs> Yay, we did it! We taught the rover how to pick up a rock. Now, scientists can use these rocks to discover different things about the planet, like how big it is, how old it is, and what can survive there. <laughs> cool, let's go. This is where we can build our own capsule, just like Apollo 11. Let's get our supplies. First, we'll need two pieces of black yarn. One, two. Next, we need a cardboard capsule. Then, we need a sheet of tissue paper. Oh, there are lots of different colors in here, but I'm gonna pick yellow, just like my headband. A capsule is a piece of the rocket that the astronauts use to come back to Earth in. We're punching some holes in there. Awesome! Two holes punched in our capsule. Now we'll punch some holes in our tissue paper. One hole. And two. Awesome! Next, we'll take our black yarn and we'll loop it through the holes. Oh, I bet my best friend Blippi and I would have a great time in one of these. <laughs> I love traveling through space with my best friend. Okay. <laughs> okay, one last step. Take our silver handle and put tape it on top. Now I need two pieces of tape. One. Awesome. Two. Now we have our capsule and we're ready to launch. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. <gasps> Oh, that was awesome! We did it, we did it, we never ever quit it, we did it! Awesome! Safe landing! That was cool! <laughs> <laughs> all right, Mission Control, we did it! We went all the way into outer space and now we're safe back on planet Earth. We were really busy exploring space, and when it was time to come back to Earth, we landed safely in our parachutes. I just want to thank all the scientists for their hard work, and I especially want to thank my best friend, Blippi, for always believing in me and my mission. <laughs> now let's go see what other things we can make fly through the air. Come on! Check it out, an airplane building station. That's right, airplanes fly through the air too. Okay, I'll start with a sheet of paper and then I'll fold it in half. Paper airplanes help us understand how real airplanes fly through the sky. Oh look, I just made a triangle, see? <laughs> Triangles have three sides. All right, fold it one more time. And another time on this side. And look, we have an airplane. Woo! Whoa! Let's go! Oh, we made it to the launching pad. The shape of the wings is what makes it possible for an airplane to fly. When the wings are flat, and then curved at the end, air pressure can sit on top of the plane, which makes it possible to fly through the air. <gasps> okay, 
Let's make sure our launching pad is lined up just right. There we go. So we'll put the plane here and we'll push this green button in three, two, one. Wow! Look at that airplane go! <laughs> Check it out. I'm in a science lab. Astronauts are scientists too. That's because they do experiments when they're exploring on the moon. An experiment is when you try something new to see what will happen. Sometimes you need a parent or an adult to help you. I've got it. Let's do an experiment and learn together. Will you help me with my ooey gooey experiment? <laughs> Great. Let's start off with a quarter cup of water. Splash. And then we'll add a quarter cup of sticky ooey gooey glue. <laughs> now we'll have to take our popsicle stick and stir, stir, stir. Stir, 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 stir it up. Stir up that glue. Stir, 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 stir it up. I love to experiment with you. <laughs> okay, we gotta get our glue and water all mixed in. Wow, this is so cool. Okay, we're ready to add our glitter. And guess what? It's my favorite color. Purple. Wow, so pretty. Looks very stellar. <laughs> okay, we have our purple glitter, and now we're gonna add a quarter cup of starch. And that'll make it extra, extra sticky. Wow, do you see it? It's forming in one big lump. Wow! Oh, okay, I think it's almost ready. Oh, I think we're ready to touch it. Ooh, it's so sticky and ooey gooey. <laughs> I've got it. I'll name my slime hmm, Lunar Slime. <laughs> Thank you so much for exploring space with me today. We wore a spacesuit, we coated a rover, and we created our own capsule and watched it float back down to Earth. That was cool. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> all right. See you later. Bye-bye. Hi, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at O2B Kids in Orlando, Florida. This place is really fun. They have games, they have dance classes, and I want to learn some new dance moves. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, Mika. I'm Trudy. Welcome to O2B Kids, the new learning playground. Oh, thank you so much. So I want to learn some new dance moves today. Mr. Christian is available for a dance lesson right now. Really? Where is it? You can head to the theater. Oh, let's go to the theater. <gasps> this is it, the theater. Oh, let's go inside. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> Amazing dance moves! Thank you. Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, I'm Mr. Christian. I'm the dance teacher here. <gasps> Wow, a dance teacher? Could you give me a dance lesson? Sure, but first, what moves do you want to learn? Oh, I want to learn a hip hop move, a break dance move, and a ballet move. Awesome, awesome. But first, before we do that, we have to go warm up and stretch, okay? Oh yeah, makes sense. Where do we do that? Follow me. Oh, okay. Follow Mr. Christian. Oh, I'm so excited to get started. Me too. All right, first, we're going to warm up. Oh. It's so important to warm up your body before you dance, get your muscles loose and warmed up so you don't get hurt. Absolutely, all right? So first, we're going to run in place and count to eight. Oh yeah, you count to 
eight in dance because you can easily break up the sections in music when you're learning dance moves. And you don't have to count too high. Absolutely. All right, ready? Okay. Go. One, one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stop. Oh, I'm already awesome. warming up. Awesome. All right, so next thing, we're going to do our pizza stretch, okay? I love pizza. Me too. Okay? Okay. So we got to go into our straddle. We're going to sit on the ground. We're going to go into our straddle. We're going to okay. spread our legs out. All right, you can sit on the ground too. All right, and we're going to roll our dough out. So we're roll our dough. Shh, shh. And we're going to pat, 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 all around. Pat, 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 pat. There you go. And then we're going to pour our sauce all around. Ooh. And then we're going to spread our sauce, spread our sauce. Awesome, awesome. And then we're going to sprinkle our cheese. Ooh. Sprinkle our and cheese. if you're dairy free, you can use dairy free cheese. Cheese with no dairy. There you go. And then we're going to put our toppings. Ooh. I'm going to put chicken on mine because I okay, love chicken. Okay, I'm going to put some mushrooms and ooh, green pepper. Ooh, I'm going to put some pineapples on ooh. there. Mm -hmm. That sounds yummy. Yeah. All right, and then we're going to put our oven mittens on. Yep, okay. mm -hmm. protect yourselves. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to take the pizza, we're going to put it in the oven. So we're going to open the oven door. Shh, shh. We're going to put the pizza on there. Shh, shh. We're going to close the door. Shh, shh. And then we're going to count to eight. Okay. Ready? We're going to go one, two, two three, three, four, five, five six, six, seven, eight. eight. Ding, 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 ding. It's ready. Fast cooking pizza. Yeah. So we're going to take it out, open the door. Take out the pizza. All right, ready? And three, two, one. Oh, Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry. Awesome, awesome. All right, and we're going to put our feet together. Our next, our final warm up, we're going to put our feet together. All right, and we're going to say hi, Toes. Hi, Toes. Goodbye, Toes. Goodbye, Toes. Hi toes. Hi toes. Goodbye toes. Goodbye toes. Hi toes. Hi toes. And quickly grab them before they go away. Wait. And count yeah. to eight. One, One two, two, three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, seven, eight. eight. Yay! Wow. I feel really good now. I'm warmed up. Awesome. I'm well, ready to dance. You ready? Let's mm -hmm. go. Okay. Come on. Let's go learn some dance moves. Whoa. We are in a real dance studio. This is awesome. I can't believe you are going to teach me hip hop moves, break dance moves, and ballet moves. You know a lot about dance. What do you love most about it? There's just so many things about dance I love, but a few things that I love are that I can use one side of my mind, which is the logic side, and the other side of my mind, which is the creative side, and put them together through my movements. Also that it's a form of self-expression. Oh, yeah. So you can really express yourself through the movements. And also it's a sense of community. It's really about love and sharing that with everyone. Oh, that's so cool. I also like to express myself through music and dance. It's such a fun way to just be yourself and let loose and have fun. Yeah. <laughs> and you especially do that in hip hop, right? Mm -hmm, absolutely. Oh, well, what are the hip hop moves we're gonna learn? Okay, so our first move is our step touch, step touch. Okay. And when we do that, we're gonna count to eight, okay? Oh, you yeah, ready? count to eight, I remember. All right, so first, we gotta step out with our right foot. Okay. One, and step together, two. Mm -hmm. And you step out with your left, one. Step together, two. Awesome. And then repeat Step. that. Yep. Touch. I did. Yeah. It. There you go. <laughs> Step touch. Okay. So we're gonna do that a little faster. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yep. Five, six, seven, eight. One, One two, two, three, four, five, six, six seven, eight. eight. Good job. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> awesome. All right. So next, we're gonna do the same thing. Okay. But we're gonna add arms to make it look really cool. Whoa. You ready? Okay. All right. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two. two. Three, four, four five, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Wow, that did look yeah. cool. <laughs> awesome. All right, so after that, we're gonna do our top rock. And oh. our top rock is a really cool move because it's the basic move for break dancing. Okay, so we are learning a basic move of break dance. So yeah. awesome. <laughs> okay, so first, you're gonna take your right arm. Okay. So right hand over, and then your left hand under. Ooh. 
Okay? Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna step out with your right foot, then your okay. heels gonna point up to the sky. And then our arms are gonna go out like you're about to give a big hug. Oh yeah. Yeah. Hug. Okay. And then we're gonna repeat it to the other side. We're gonna step out with the right. We're gonna put, we're gonna switch our hands over, left over, right under. And then we're gonna kick out with our left foot and our toes point up at the sky again. And we're gonna make a big hug one more time. Ah, oh, big hug. There you go. Good job. Nice. You think we can do a little faster? Yeah, let's try it. Right. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, One two, two, three. three. Four, five, five six, six, seven, eight. Yes, oh, good so job. Fun. Thank yeah. you. All right, and our next move to make it a little more flavor and Ooh, put our feet on it, yes. we're gonna do a crisscross. Are you Criss ready? Crisscross, what's that? Okay, so it's pretty, pretty simple, okay? So your feet are kind of shoulder width apart. Okay. And think of it like a scissor, okay? okay. You're like, you're chopping paper, okay? You go, so you're gonna go cross with your right, over your left. I know it's a little confusing, but we'll go through very slow, okay? okay. We're gonna go right foot, shoo, shoo, and we're gonna cross, shoo. Oh, it is like yeah. scissors, like and you're cutting yeah. paper. Exactly. Shoo. Shoo. And then we're gonna switch it to switch feet. So you're gonna go left or right, ready? Mm -hmm. Five, six, seven, eight, shoo, shoo. and switch. Shoo. Yeah, there you go. Do a little faster. Okay. All right, ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Shoo. Yes, good job. <laughs> Thank you. That's awesome. All right, after that, we're gonna move into our ballet. Oh yeah, I really love ballet. Yeah. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our feet together. Okay. Okay. And we're gonna put our heels turned out. Okay, we see your toes, our heels are kissing each other and going okay. mwah. Awesome. And we're gonna put our arms into our beach ball like okay. this. Mm -hmm. All right. And we're gonna count, we're gonna count to eight one more time. So we're gonna go one, two, two three, four, four five, six, six, seven, eight. eight. Good job. Okay? okay. And that is called our plie. Oh, and that means to bend in French. There you go. So we're gonna do just a little bit faster. Is that okay? Okay. All right. Five, six, seven, eight. One, one two, two, three, four, four five, six, six, seven, eight. eight. Good job. Great. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. And then to add a little more spice flavor to Love our it. ballet, uh -huh. we're gonna do some tendus, okay? Oh, and tendu means to stretch in French. There you go. So we're gonna do our tendus to the side. We're gonna start on our right side. We're gonna do it four times. And we're gonna go one with our right toe out. Uh -huh. And we're just gonna bring it. One more time. Out. Boop. Bring in. Boop. Out. Boop. Out. Bring in. Out. Out. In. In. Good job. Thank you. You're welcome. And now we're gonna go to the other side, okay? Okay. So your hands are still on your hips like this. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna go out with your left foot. Out. And then bring it. And you're gonna go out. Out. And bring it. In. And you're gonna go out. Bring it. Out. Bring it. Oh, Good job. Thank you. Wow. Can we do a little faster? Yeah, let's try right. it. Ready? Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yay! Good job! Oh, thank you for teaching me all of those moves. Of course, of course. Are you ready to put it all together? I think so. All right. It's going to be a little faster. It might be a little challenging, but I think we can do it. I think so too. All right. You ready? Yep. All right. We're going to start with the step touch. You ready? Yes. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Top right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Crisscross. Two, three, dance it out. Five, six, seven, eight. Crisscross. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Plie. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Time two. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. I have an idea. Okay. After that, can we freestyle and express ourselves however we want? Absolutely, that's the point of dance, absolutely. Oh, awesome. I think I'm ready to do a performance. <gasps> I'm so excited, I can't wait. Okay, All right. let's do let's it. Let's do it, okay. let's do it. You lead the way. All right, let's go. <laughs> Come on. Introducing the wonderful, talented, and unique Mika. 
Thank you. Thank you. Hello. My name is Mika. Yeah. It's nice to meet ya. Hey, I'm quite a thinker. That's me. And I like to tinker. Come on. My name is Mika. Yeah. It's nice to meet ya. Hey, I'm quite a thinker. That's me. And I like to tinker. Come on. Well, you know, I love to dance. Oh my gosh, that was so good. Oh, thank you for teaching me all of those new dance moves. Of course, it's my pleasure. Oh, you're a great teacher. Oh, thanks. Well, I'll see you later. All right, thanks, Mr. Christian. You're see welcome. ya. Bye. Wow, we had so much fun today and really learned a lot. We learned about warming up our bodies and staying loose when we learn new dance moves. And speaking of dance moves, we learned new Hip hop moves, break dance moves, and ballet moves. And we did a great job counting to eight. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <sighs> awesome. M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. All right, we'll see you next time. Keep dancing. <laughs> It's me, Mika, and today I'm at Twinkle Play Space in Brooklyn, New York. And look, I'm in space! I'm excited to land down on Earth to find healthy foods that are the color of the rainbow. Can you help me look for those foods? Oh, okay, cool! Let's go! Hey, up here! Check it out! I'm in a spaceship coming in for a landing! Whoa! See Earth! I'm coming for you, Earth! Wow! <laughs> I made it! Oh, Earth looks awesome! <laughs> so now I need to find healthy food that's the colors of the rainbow. Will you help me find red? Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. I have my special binoculars. Take a look. See if we can find red. <gasps> I see a red fire truck right over there. Will you come with me? <laughs> Let's go. Hmm. Whoa! Huh, there it is. A big red fire truck. Let's go check it out. Oh, it looks like a real fire truck. Oh, hey, a firefighting helmet. That way I can pretend to be a real firefighter. <gasps> firefighter Mika sees a fire. Let's put it out. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye, fire. Woo, nice. Firefighter Mika saved the day. <laughs> what else is here? Oh, let's go to the front of the truck. Woo! Excuse me, excuse me. I'm trying to save the day here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look what I found. It's a red apple. This is definitely a healthy food. Did you know that apples are in the same family as the rose plant? Yeah, same for cherries and peaches and pears. They're all in the same family. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Apples are really yummy. Sweet, healthy, packed with fiber. Yeah, red healthy foods are really good for your heart. <gasps> and here's another one. A red pepper. Did you know that a red pepper is also a fruit because there's seeds inside? Yeah, good job finding red healthy foods. Our next healthy food should be the color Orange. All 
right, let's see if we can find orange anywhere. Hmm. <gasps> I think I see something over there. Come on. Cool. Do you see the orange construction vest? Yeah. I'm gonna put one on so I can pretend to be a construction worker. Have you ever seen a construction worker before? Yeah, they usually operate really cool machines and trucks and they build things. I'll wear my protective helmet so I can go building over there and oh, it's a sandbox. Oh, I love playing in the sand. Let's go. Something else that's orange. An orange truck. Vroom, 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 vroom. Maybe it can help me dig through the sand. Wait, what? I just dug up an orange. Check it out. This is super healthy. It's packed with vitamin C. Ooh, and it's really tasty and sweet too. Put it right there. Maybe we'll find something else. Hmm. Oh, an orange shovel. Ooh, look at the sand. <gasps> okay, let's see. I must dig to find a healthy snack. Wait a second. <laughs> oh. <gasps> Do you know what this is? Yeah, it's a carrot. A super healthy vegetable. Carrots are really good for your eyes. Yeah. Hey, do I look like a snowman? Hello. <laughs> Yummy. Okay, so I have an orange and a carrot. Two healthy foods. <laughs> wow, we are really moving along on our rainbow. <laughs> Let me put these in my bag. And you can help me find our next color. Do you know what it is? Yellow, one of my favorite colors. Do you think we can find a yellow healthy food? Hmm. I wonder if there's yellow things around here. Let me look through my binoculars. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Wait a second. There's yellow over there. Come on. Whoa. Do you see this big yellow mouth? Wow. It looks like the mouth of a dragon. And if you look up top, you can see four little dragons. Huh, I wonder if those are the dragon babies. Do you see any healthy food? Hmm, maybe I should ask. Um, excuse me, Miss Dragon? Hello? <laughs> Hi, I'm Mika. Do you have any yellow healthy food? Oh, I do, but you have to make me laugh first. <laughs> okay, Miss Dragon, make you laugh. Challenge accepted. Hmm. Healthy food, I have to tell a joke. Maybe I can tell a joke about a banana, cause that's a yellow healthy food. Okay. <clears throat> okay, Miss Dragon, why do you want to be extra nice to bananas? <laughs> you don't want to hurt their peelings. <laughs> Not funny? I thought it was funny. Okay, I have another one. Um, why are bananas never lonely? <laughs> because they're always in bunches. You know, like a bunch of it. Okay, she's not laughing. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, this is the one. Okay. <clears throat> How do bananas answer the phone? <laughs> Yell out. <laughs> Right. Yeah, she's laughing. Oh, awesome. Look, a yellow banana. Thank you so much, Miss Dragon. Ooh, this is a really tasty, sweet fruit. Nice and healthy and full of potassium. Yum. Oh, I have a lot of healthy foods in here. <laughs> hmm, now it's time to find a green healthy food. Let me pull these binoculars out of my jam pack, see if I can find the color green. <gasps> hey, I see a green store. Let's go check it out. Ooh, look at this really cool 
cool grocery store. There's so many different kinds of healthy foods. I see fruits and vegetables. Do you see anything healthy that's green? Hmm. I see a red apple, but I already have a red apple. And an orange, I already have that too. But what about a pear? Have you ever had a pear before? Oh, it's so yummy. It's full of fiber, it's good for your belly, and it's tasty and sweet too. Any other green healthy foods? Hmm, oh, maybe down here. I see corn, but that's yellow. Uh, <gasps> Do you know what this is? It's broccoli, a really healthy vegetable full of vitamin K and calcium. It's good for your bones. It makes you nice and strong. <laughs> cool. A pear and broccoli, two green healthy foods. Whoa, look over here. It looks like a conveyor belt. All right, broccoli and pear. Here we go. Whoa, <laughs> it fell down in the bin. Wow. We are finding lots of healthy food that are the colors of the rainbow. We found red foods, orange foods, yellow foods, and now green. Do you know what the next color is? We need to find a blue healthy food. Can you think of a blue healthy food? Let's see if I can find some blue in this space. Hmm. Oh, I see blue over there. Follow me. Check it out. A blue slide. All right, I'm gonna go down. Three, two, one, yay! <laughs> Do you see any blue healthy food? Hmm. Let me know if you see something. Hmm. <gasps> Whoa! I found some blueberries. Have you ever had a blueberry before? They're so yummy. I really love berries, especially blueberries. They're really healthy and they're really good for your brain. Yeah, especially your memory. Oh, I have so many. Will you count them with me? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven blueberries. Yum. <laughs> okay, so we found red, orange, yellow, green, and blue healthy foods. Do you know what color's next? Purple, <laughs> one of my favorite colors. I can pull out my purple binoculars and see if I can find something purple. Let's see, hmm. <gasps> See some purple over there, come on. Whoa, look at this rainbow road. There's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. And there's a purple plum, yummy. Right next to a really cool purple mushroom that matches my purple bag and my purple shirt. <laughs> Have you ever tasted a plum before? They're really yummy. They're sweet, they're full of vitamin C and fiber. They're so good for you, especially your tummy. <laughs> well, purple plum, you can go right there in my purple bag. Wait a second. We found healthy foods for every color of the rainbow. Let's double check. We have our red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Check it out. All the colors of the rainbow. <gasps> We did it, we did it, we never ever quit it, we did it! Look at all of these delicious healthy foods and they're so colorful just like a rainbow. <laughs> 
Well, thank you so much for helping me find all those healthy foods. Did you have a favorite? Ooh, yummy. <laughs> I thought it was really cool how we learned that an apple comes from the same plant family as a rose. I love that fact. <laughs> well, I hope that you enjoy eating healthy food as much as me. This is the end of this video, but if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika! All right, I'll be seeing you soon. Oh, I think I'm gonna leave a little message for my friends up in space. Whoa, <laughs> I'm up so high. Hello. I'm over Hello. here. Hello. Oh, there's a slide. I'll meet you at the bottom. Hi. Three, two, one. Yay. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Twinkle Play Space in Brooklyn, New York. I'm so excited because there's lots of fun things to do here. Oh, look down here. This looks like something a doctor would use. Maybe to check your reflexes? Whoa! <laughs> I'll just put this in my jam pack. And a thermometer. Something else a doctor might use. Interesting. Hmm, a clipboard? Maybe a doctor clipboard? And a stethoscope. Yeah, this is something a doctor uses to check your heartbeat. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> There's a note. Dear Mika, Pettenville needs someone to take care of its animal friends. Here is your veterinarian kit. I know you'll do a great job. Signed, Mayor Rooster. Oh, that's so cool. I get to take care of animals. That's what a veterinarian or a vet does. They're so important because they're animal doctors who take care of animals. Oh, look over here. A doctor's coat. Let's try it on. Wow, I look like a real animal doctor, huh? <laughs> oh, first on the list is a dragon. We better go find it. Come on. Whoa, check it out. A really big, cool looking dragon. Hi, dragon. Oh, it's a mama dragon. Look at the four dragon babies up there. Let's see what the problem is. Hi, I'm Dr. Mika. What's the problem? Hey, I can't laugh. What? You can't laugh? Oh, that must be so frustrating. I love to laugh. Hmm, let me see if I can help. Let me just check your heartbeat. Dum dum, dum dum, dum dum, dum dum. Ooh, I like that beat. Heartbeat sounds nice and strong. Hmm, what are some ways you can make someone laugh? Maybe some silly dance moves. Uh, okay, Mama Dragon, check this out. Nothing? Tough crowd. Hmm. Well, maybe there's something wrong with your throat. I'll take these scarves. We'll go in here, up the dragon's throat, and out. Maybe that will tickle the dragon, and the dragon can laugh. Let's try. Wow, we did 
did it. Thank you so much for your help. <laughs> Have fun laughing. Okay, next animal. Come on. Wow, what a beautiful tree. <gasps> Look, cute little birds. Hi, I'm Dr. Mika. How are you feeling today? Oh, they said they feel fine, but they need their checkup. Have you ever been to the doctor for a checkup? Yeah, just to make sure everything is good and nice and healthy. Come here, little bird. Oh, so sweet. Tweet, 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 tweet. <laughs> okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is check your temperature. Okay, let's see, I think I have a thermometer in here. Yep, here it is. Just gonna put it under your wing. Stay still for me. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes, perfect temperature. That's really good. Okay, let's see what else we can check here. How about your eyes? Look at me. Keep going. Look, there we go. All right. <gasps> nice. Ooh, healthy eyes. You must eat a lot of healthy food. All right, now we're just gonna check your brother over here. What healthy birds we have here. Keep up the good work, eat healthy and stay strong. Tweet, tweet, tweet. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. This is a vet's office. Animals can come here to get some extra care if maybe they're not feeling well or they're sick. Oh, look, this is a cool place to give an animal a bath, make it nice and clean. Oh, these are bird cages. Cool. Oh, don't see any birds in there though. Hmm. <gasps> I do see some animals over here. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Look at this little kitty cat. It's sleeping. Shh. <laughs> oh, this cat's awake. Hi, cat. Do you want to come out and say hi? Aw. Meow. Meow. Oh, how are you feeling? Much better. Oh, I'm so happy. Do you want to rest a little longer? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll put you back. Okay. Aw. There you go. Have a nice rest. <laughs> Do you know what animal this is? Yeah, it's a horse. Yay, yay. Hi horse, I'm Dr. Mika. How are you feeling today? Much better, yay. Oh good, <laughs> I'll put you back so you can rest too. Aw, <gasps> another sleeping animal. It's a little puppy. Look at its little nose, so cute. Did you know that dogs can smell really well? Yeah, they have wet noses. Have you ever noticed a dog's nose? If you touch it, it feels a little wet. Because smells stick better to wet noses than dry noses. And a dog could smell a human over 40 feet away, or about 12 meters. That's really, really far away. Isn't that cool? Oh, isn't that cool? <laughs> oh, do you know what animal this is? It's a rabbit. <laughs> Look at its long ears. Hello? <laughs> oh, I think this rabbit needs to rest too. There you go. Aw, all these animals are resting. It's really important to rest, especially if you don't feel very well. And look, a little pig. Oink, oink, oink. <laughs> look how cute. How are you feeling today, pig? Oh, that's great. The pig said it's feeling a lot better. Oh, good, I'm so glad. Well, everyone rest up, and I'm going to go look for some other animals who might need my care. You come with me? Let's go. We're on a farm! Wow, there's lots of farm animals in here. Huh. A chicken and little chicks. Hi. <laughs> They're so cute. <gasps> Three new patients. Let's see. Hi, I'm Dr. Mika. How are you? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I understand, cow. The cow is saying that it's feeling a little lonely. 
Aw, well, <laughs> looks like your x-ray is on the wall. Let's take a check. All right, looks like, uh-huh, correct. Yep, that's the one. Oh yeah, you look great. Your x-ray is actually perfect. But you said you're lonely. Hmm. You know, they say that cows have best friends. <laughs> yeah, they have a favorite cow that they like to hang out with all the time. So I bet you need a cow friend. Hmm, do you see any cows around here? Meow. <gasps> Did you hear that? I think it's coming from inside. Oh yeah. <gasps> Look at this sweet cow. Meow. Do you want a best friend? Meow. I have a great friend for you. Come on. Here you are. Best friends, best friends. Aw. <laughs> Do you feel better? No. <laughs> awesome, I'm so glad. Did you hear that? It sounded like a cat in trouble. Oh no, there's a cat stuck way up there. I have to save it, come on. Whoa, a fire truck. Ah, yeah, firefighters help cats get out of really high places all the time. Looks like I need to save a cat. Here we go, I'm coming for you, cat! Hi, cat, it's me, Dr. Mika. Let me see if I can get you unstuck. Oh, are you okay? Oh, well, I have you now. Let's go back down the ladder. How are you feeling? Oh, <gasps> there's a fire. I better become a firefighter and put it out. Close one. You know what? I think I'll take you to the vet's office and check your heartbeat and make sure you're A-OK. -okay. Come on. Meow. <laughs> OK, little cat. Welcome to my office. Let me just give your heartbeat one more listen, OK? All right. Make sure it's a nice, strong heartbeat. OK, let's listen. Bum bum, bum bum, bum bum. Oh, sounds perfect. <laughs> nice, strong heartbeat. Okay, well, you've had a really long day, so I think maybe you should get some rest. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. Come on, let's see if there's any open spots for you to lay down and take it easy. All right, here you go. Get nice and cozy and take a little rest. It's important to get rest, especially when you're not feeling well. <laughs> well, I had so much fun today taking care of those animals. Thank you so much for your help. And isn't it cool that dogs can smell so well and that cows have best friends? Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Awesome. <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. All right, I'll see you next time. Mika the Vet, out. <laughs> Bye. Hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Children's Fairyland in Oakland, California. And I'm riding the Wonder Go Round. Woohoo! giddy up. <laughs> Do you wanna meet some of my friends? All right, let's go. This is the Dodo. Hello, Dodo. Hello, Mika. Oh. <laughs> oh, and this is the Mad Hatter. <laughs> oh, and the Griffin. I love the Griffin's purple wings. And this, I bet you recognize this animal. See those tusks? It's the walrus. Hello, walrus. Hello, Mika. <laughs> I really want to go on my own adventure. Will you come with me? All right, giddy up, let's go! Woo! <laughs> Whoa! Check out this giant blue whale! This is Willie the Whale to be exact. Hi, Willie the Whale, 
I'm Mika. Nice to meet ya. <laughs> Big blue whales are really cool. And they're the biggest mammal on the planet. Whoa. Hey, Willie, do you mind if I come inside? All right, let's go. Wow. Look, there is a note inside of Willie's mouth. And it says, Mika, <laughs> that's me. Okay. <clears throat> Your Storyland adventure starts here. So get up and on your feet. Use your five senses to explore Fairyland. You'll make friends and find a yummy treat. Oh, I love making new friends and I really like treats. This is gonna be so much fun. Okay, five senses. That's seeing, smelling, hearing, touch, and taste. So we will see with our eyes and we'll smell with our noses and hear. Oh, can you hear any sounds? Oh, did you hear that? <laughs> and there's taste with your mouth and touch with your hands, with your skin. Oh, this is gonna be really, really fun. I just know it. Hey, let's swim like whales on out of here. Ready? Water's something fun to feel, and that's one of our senses. Okay, let's see. I wonder if the water is hot or cold. Let's touch it and find out. Whoa! It's very, very cold. Wow! But hey, that's one of our senses. I touched the water. <laughs> well, that water would not be fun for me to swim in, but a big whale would love to swim in that cold water. Can you think of other animals that like to swim in cold water? Maybe a seal? <laughs> or a walrus? <laughs> or a penguin! Let's waddle like penguins out of here and find some other things. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Waddle, waddle. Do you hear that? Quack. 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 Yeah, I hear a duck. Wow, so we used feeling and now we're using hearing. That's two senses. Do you see any ducks? <gasps> Back there on the other side of the water. I see one, two, three ducks. Hey, and they're hanging out around Rapunzel's tower. Hi, Rapunzel. See, she's at the very top and her hair is so long. It goes all the way down to the bottom of the tower. <laughs> oh, and hey, it's Mr. Todd, the fox from Tales of Beatrix Potter. Hi, it's me, Mika, do you remember? It was a long time ago, it's okay. <laughs> oh man, ducks are so cool. Did you know that they eat seeds and fruit and Worms. <laughs> oh, but remember, do not feed ducks without getting permission. <laughs> I'll see you later, ducks. Let's see what else we can find. Come on. Quack, quack. Hey, we already used two of our senses, feeling and hearing. I wonder if we can smell anything. Let's try. <laughs> Actually, I smell something really good. I bet it's these flowers. Let's see. Oh yeah, they smell so good. Did you know that flowers smell good to attract pollinators like butterflies, hummingbirds, even ladybugs and bumblebees? Yeah, they're attracted to the flower, so they'll fly over and get some pollen on them and then fly to another flower and spread that pollen around, which plants more seeds, which creates more plants for all of us. So thank you, pollinators. <laughs> hey, I wonder if we can see anything. Let me go into my jam pack and get my <laughs> binoculars. <laughs> Ooh, I see a tunnel over there. Let's go check it out. Come on. Where is that tunnel? Oh, <laughs> look at that silly clock. It's going the opposite direction. <laughs> That's funny. 
All right, where is the tunnel? I see it! <laughs> and I also see the white rabbit from the book Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> the white rabbit is always in a hurry. And look, there's a little clock right there in its pocket. Hi, white rabbit, I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Should we hop in the tunnel together? Okay, ready? Three, two, one, hop! Hey, I see giant playing cards. Seeing is another sense. We explored feeling, smelling, and hearing, and now we can explore seeing. Ooh, you wanna check out these cards with me? Come on. Whoa, I see the letter A. And do you know what shape this is? Yeah, it's a heart. And there's a big giant heart right there. Oh, it's like it's singing. Yes, I have a giant heart. That is so sweet. Oh, look at this one. I see the number two, that's right. And do you know what shape this is? That's a spade. Correct, Mika, that is a spade. Oh, I thank you so much. Ooh, and I see the number four. Do you know what shape this is? It's a diamond, cool. Yes, a diamond is my favorite shape. Oh, good to know. <laughs> Whoa, I see something really cool over there. Do you wanna check it out with me? Well, let's go. Whoa, do you see what's behind me? Giant apples. Look, there's a red one and a green one. Oh, and this one has a worm inside. Hi, worm, it's me, Mika. <laughs> you know, red apples usually taste sweet and green apples usually taste a little sour. <gasps> hey, taste, that's the fifth sense. We explored all five senses. Oh, that means that I get a treat. Will you help me look for it? Okay, let's go. Oh, excuse me, have you seen a treat for Mika? Something yummy you can eat like a mm -mm. Okay, no, all right. I found the treat. Oh boy, wow. It's a cupcake, check it out! With yummy icing on it. Ooh, oh, and a note. Let's see here. Oh, it says for Mika. <laughs> That's me. Great job exploring your five senses and finishing your adventure. Enjoy this yummy treat. Hope you had fun. Your friend Blippi. Oh, Blippi is such a great friend. He knows that I like playing games and eating yummy treats. <laughs> Hey, we explored all five senses. Seeing, hearing, feeling, smelling, tasting. Oh, now I get to taste the cupcake. Let's see here. Mmm, it's so good. Hey, we did it. We did it. We never ever quit it. We did it. We did it. We never ever quit it. Fun day we had! We went on a really cool adventure using our five senses. Oh, thank you so much for playing and learning with me. I loved learning that the blue whale is the biggest mammal on the planet. Oh, it must take up so much space in the ocean. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika, all right, I'll see you soon, bye. Whoa, okay, balance, balance. Oh, here comes a big wave, oh, whoa, yeah. Hey, I'm Mika, and today I'm at the Southern California Children's Museum in Pasadena, California. And look, whoa, I'm surfing. Whoa, whoa, oh, I didn't know how to surf 
before, but then I got a lesson from a teacher. Hey, I have an idea. Splash! I should be a teacher. Teachers have a really important job because they help guide their students through learning. What do you think? Would you like to be a teacher with me? Oh, great! Oh, there are so many cool subjects we can learn about. <laughs> Let's get started. Okay, if I'm going to be a teacher, I need some students. <gasps> Let's see what I have in my jam pack today. Oh, it's Vila the Bee. Introduce yourself, Vila. Hello, I'm Vila. Nice to see ya. <laughs> hey, Vila, would you like to be a student today? Yes, I love to learn. <laughs> oh, great. Did you know bees have a very important job? Mm-hmm, and we're gonna learn about it in our first lesson. Yes, that's right, Vila. We're going to learn about science. Science is learning about the world around you through observing, testing, and experimenting. <laughs> oh, and look, we're at a pollination station. Bees have a very important job. Do you know what that is? That's right, they help pollinate the plants. Hey, Vila, would you like to demonstrate to the class how it's done? Okay, lead the way. Buzz. Whoa. Buzz. Buzz. Whoa, did you know bees communicate and talk to each other by dancing? <laughs> I love to dance. How does it work, Bila? Oh, bees do a dance called swaggle. Waggle. And that lets other bees know, hey, there's a flower nearby with lots of pollen. Right, Bila? Oh, that's right. Awesome job, class. <laughs> All right, class, for my next scientific exploration, I'm going to make Bila a beehive. Oh, I can use these cool shapes. Hmm, whoa. This could be a, maybe a slide for the bees. And whoa, these are kind of cool. Maybe I could use those. And oh, these circles will be the perfect honeycombs. <laughs> yeah, okay, I have a plan and I'm ready to get started. I made you a throne, so you can be Queen Bila. You can sit there. <laughs> Is it comfy? Yes. <laughs> and look, buzz, I made you a slide. Ready? I'll hold your hand on the way down. Here we go. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, class, what should we learn about next? I know, I'll give you a hint. <laughs> One, two, three. That's right, our next subject is math. <laughs> Here we go. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> math is learning about numbers and shapes. Okay, class, are you ready for your math lesson? Okay, take your seats. And get out your pencils. All right, first, let's count the cars. Ready? Will you count with me? Oh, great, you're such wonderful students. One, two, three. 
three cars. And a car has four wheels. Will you count the wheels with me? Okay. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Four wheels. Awesome job. <laughs> oh, and check it out. There are two more cars at the top. <gasps> hey, let's count all of the cars. Ready, class? One, two, <laughs> three, four, whoa, <laughs> five, five cars total. <gasps> I have an idea. Let's race the two at the top. Come on, Vila. Wonderful day here at the Mini Speedway. A beautiful day for racing. All right, our drivers are all set and ready to go. On your mark, get set, start your engines. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, that was awesome. Great counting. <laughs> Check out these mountains. Hey class, did you know that there are mountains deep down in the bottom of the ocean? <laughs> yeah, in fact, some islands are actually the tops or peaks of mountains. Oh, what do you think? Should I climb up way to the top of this mountain? <gasps> I'm a little nervous. Okay, let's give it a try. Hey! We can count the steps on our way. Here we go. Ready, Bila? Buzz. <laughs> Here we go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Getting higher. Five, six, seven. Whoa. I can see the valley down below. Eight, nine, ten. 10 steps to the top. <gasps> hey, speaking of 10, this calls for a 10 second dance break. Ready, Bila? <gasps> we did it, we did it, we never ever quit it. We did it. <gasps> oh, and check it out. There's a slide. Let's go down the slide. <laughs> Whee! Woohoo! <laughs> hey, there's another slide. We should definitely go down. But first, let's put a flag to say that we've been to the top. Da 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 da! <gasps> I know. I'll name this mountain Mika's Majestic Mountain Top. All right, let's go down. Woohoo! Whee! <laughs> oh, what's that, Bila? Oh, Bila would like to do a dance too. Okay, Bila. Hit it, waggle, and shake. Buzz, 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 dance break. <laughs> Great job, Vila. Art is when you use your imagination and creativity through painting and writing, music, and so much more. Whoa, check out this amazing art gallery. There are so many colorful creations. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> Hello. Oh, this looks like some curly, colorful hair. Awesome. Oh, and look. Bah, bah. Wow, I like this tissue paper for hair. That's so creative. Now that I have some inspiration from the art gallery, I think I know what I want to create. Okay, sit right there and I'll draw you. Oh, but I need a marker. <laughs> there we go. Okay, first I'll start with your head. <laughs> and then we'll do your body. Oh, okay, I think I'm ready to glue your eyes.
Oh, this glue is so sticky. Ooh, stars. Yeah, I definitely want some stars on there. I'll put it all over. What's that, Bila? <gasps> right, I need your antenna. Okay, I'm ready to cut you up. I'll use some of this scrap piece of paper to make some wings. Check it out, Vila. Look, <laughs> it's you. Yeah, looks pretty identical, I'd say. <laughs> okay, class, art dismissed. Let's buzz on out of here. <laughs> Whoa, we learned so much today. We had a busy, buzzy day. The class, now, it's time for recess. <laughs> Are you ready to play? Yeah, me too. <gasps> hey, I see some fun over this way. <laughs> Come on, Vila. learn how to surf? Okay, I'll teach you how. Okay, first you want to swim out, paddle out deep into the ocean. And then when you feel the ocean push you forward, you want to hop up on your board, whoa, and balance, and ride the wave. <laughs> Hang 10. <laughs> okay, Bila, are you ready to give it a shot? Sure, buzz. <laughs> okay, friend, paddle out. Swim, swim, swim. Yay, great job, Bila. Okay, do you feel the ocean push you forward? Hop up on your board. Yeah, balance and ride that wave. <laughs> wow, Bila, that was Epic. <laughs> Whoa, we did so much today. Teachers have such an important job because they teach their students lots of interesting facts. What did we learn today? One, two, three, can you tell me? <laughs> yeah, we learned that bees do a certain dance to pollinate. Oh, and we also learned so much about science and math and art. It was an awesome day and you're such a wonderful student. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Oh, great. <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. Okay, friends. See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Let's make a little...